Hi everyone, hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm Paul from Canadian Woodworks and Legacy Lumber and today we're comparing Ecopoxy Flowcast to the Black Forest Deep Resin to the Chemtech Thick. Hope you enjoy the video. Hopefully you learned something. Thanks for tuning in. So we had planned for this video to be super scientific with time frames on how long it was curing, temperature curves, all all censored up with a computer that I spent like a few thousand bucks on for these sensors. Well, you know what? Mr. Paul didn't do a very good job. The sensors didn't record properly and my camera guy didn't actually record the footage properly of all the mixing and pouring. So we're left with this video. The final results, which is really the most important part. We're going to be comparing the clarity, the color, the hardness and the price of these three different epoxies the Ecopoxy Flowcast, to the Black Forest Deep Resin, to the Chemtech Chem Thick Resin. All right, so how did we do this test? First off, we used a 10 inch by 18 inch no seal HDPE form from Exotherm Designs. We used six liters of epoxy, equal amounts for all three brands, and we used virtually the same size piece of walnut in each form. And we did not seal the edge of the walnut. I wanted to see what type of micro bubbles were coming out of the walnut live edge while it was curing. So as you see, every piece is about the same. Right off the bat, visually, we have the Ecopoxy, which in the form, which is obviously white, has a, uh, a darkish grayish kind of hue. We have the Black Forest Deep Resin, which has a yellow hue. And we have a chem thick, which is almost in between. It's kind of grayish, kind of slightly yellowish, kind of in between. So we do have three different distinct colors right off the bat. It's been 60 days since we poured all three of these. They're fully cured and we're going to start popping them out of the forms now. So let's just get to it. So this is the Ecopoxy Flowcast. Here we have the Black Forest Deep Resin. Last but not least, Chemtech Chem Thick. We have the Chemtech Chem Thick, we have the Black Forest Deep, and we have the Ecopoxy Flowcast. This gives you a good example of the three different colors after about 60 days. In my opinion, it really does look like the Ecopoxy Flowcast has the best UV resistance and initial color clarity versus the Black Forest Deep, which started off a bit yellow, and the Chemtech Chem Thick, which once pulled out of the form, is a little bit less yellow than the Black Forest Deep, but still has that slight yellowish hue. So in my opinion, if you're going to go for that crystal clear pour, for the color, UV resistance, Ecopoxy is the winner. So here's the clarity test. This is the Ecopoxy Flowcast. You can use your own judgment. Next up is the Black Forest Deep. How does she look? Let us know. And finally, the Chemtech Chem Thick. So we have some lights turned off and we have some light shining through the epoxy. We did not degas this epoxy and we did not seal the edge of the walnut. Clearly there is more micro bubbles at the edge of the walnut, but there is also micro bubbles throughout the entire pour all the way over to this edge you can see. And which one is this? This is the Black Forest Deep Resin. So definitely if you're going to be going for a crystal clear pour, you definitely, definitely want to degas this epoxy.
We're now looking at the Eco Epoxy flow cast. Again, not degassed, not a sealed live edge on the piece of wood. Again, micro bubbles throughout the entire pour with majority of them being closer to the live edge. So I would also say if you're going to be doing a clear pour with the flow cast, you're definitely going to want to degas your epoxy. We're now looking at the Chemtech Chem Thick. And we can definitely see a clear separation from the micro bubbles created from the live edge of a piece of walnut versus about this outside uh, three to four inches where there's virtually no micro bubbles. So with this epoxy, if you're doing a lightly translucent or a crystal clear pour, in my opinion, you don't have to degas your epoxy. Okay, so we have a Shore D hardness tester. We're going to check out the Eco Epoxy flow cast. Eighty-eight. This is the Black Forest Deep. How are we looking? Eighty-six point five. Yeah. Chemtech Chem Thick. Eighty-seven. So on a hardness standpoint, all very, very close. I think those numbers are completely negligible. It's nice to see those numbers. We like to see an epoxy above 82 on the Shore D. All right, let's talk pricing. Now, if you're going to be using this type of resin, chances are you're going to be buying 30 liters or more. So we're going to go off of that pricing. If we look at the Eco Epoxy Flow Cast, you're going to be about $30 per liter. If we take a look at the Black Forest Deep Resin, you're going to be $33.33 per liter. And the Chemtech Chem Thick comes in at the lowest at $26 and one penny. This is all Canadian dollar pricing, folks. Now, while we're on the pricing subject, perhaps you're not going to be buying 30 liters at a time. Let's look at our lower volume. The Chemtech Chem Thick only comes in kits that are 11.34 liters and that breaks down to the same pricing at $26. But now this is where you have to watch it. If you're gonna go with the Ecopoxy Flowcast as a six liter kit, you're gonna be paying upwards of $45 per liter. If you go for a 12 liter kit, the pricing does get much better at $33 per liter. If we go with the Black Forest Deep Resin, a 7.5 liter is gonna run you $41 per liter. If you buy the 15 liter kit, you're going to be at around $36 per liter. So definitely there is an advantage to buying larger volumes of all three of these epoxies, especially the Flowcast or the Black Forest Deep. If you're going to be buying just 11.34 liters, which is the smallest option with the Chemtech Chem Thick, it's pretty sweet. You're going to be staying at that $26 per liter right across the board. Full disclosure, I myself am a brand ambassador for Chemtech epoxy products and my other company, Legacy Lumber, our dealers do carry the product. We did go out on our own and purchase the Eco Epoxy Flowcast as well as the Black Forest Deep Resin. I wanted to give the most honest opinion I could give from the standpoint of a woodworker to professionals as well as hobbyists. So for my opinion, Chemtech Chem Thick, from the standpoint of micro bubbles as well as the pricing, is the clear winner in this test. I do give the thumb up to all three resins. They are all fantastic. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys learned something. Any questions or comments, please leave them below. And we will be following up with a UV test. We're going to leave these outside for another 60 days. And we're going to come back at you with the results. Make it a great one, everyone.